Hello everyone. Now, uh, in this video, I'll be explaining endocrine glands. I'll be taking up the topic. We'll, uh, we'll be doing a uh, general topic about endocrine glands and their properties in this video. And further about different endocrine glands, I'll be taking up in the next videos. Now, first of all, before explaining endocrine system, I just want to make one thing very much clear or I just want you to know one thing that what is the difference between an organ and a gland? Organ and a gland. Organ are the organs are the part of the body which do not produce any kind of secretions. They don't have to secrete anything. For example, heart is an organ, like lungs are the organs. So these are the organs of our body. Brain is an organ. But what is a gland? Glands are the various parts of our body which produce one or other kind of secretion for example stomach for example liver and endocrine glands which we are going to do in this video now this was i think it's very much clear the difference between organ and gland organs are the parts of the body which do not produce any kind of secretion and glands are the parts which produce one or the other kind of secretions now as the topic it involves endocrine glands first of all be very clear that the glands are of three types exocrine glands endocrine glands and merocrine glands there are three types of glands exocrine glands endocrine glands and merocrine glands First of all, exocrine glands. Exocrine glands are the glands which have proper vessels, which we call as ducts, to carry their secretion to the target organ. For example, this is the gland. Suppose this is the gland. It will have this blood vessel which will carry the hormone to the target organ wherever it has to function. So this would be the exocrine gland and this would be the target organ. So this duct is carrying the hormone secreted by exocrine gland to the target organ. The example of exocrine gland in our body is salivary glands. We have our salivary glands here. Three salivary glands are present on both sides and they have ducts which pour the saliva into our buccal cavity or into our mouth. So these are exocrine glands, the glands which have ducts to carry their secretions to the target organs. Now come to the next type of glands. The second type of glands would be the endocrine glands. Endocrine glands are the glands which directly pour their secretion into the bloodstream. They do not have any duct to carry their hormone to the target organ. They have to. Suppose this is an endocrine gland. This would be placed near a blood vessel and it will directly pour the hormone secreted by it into the blood stream. They do not have ducts. That is why they are also known as ductless glands. Okay. Then, last type of glands are the merocrine glands. Merocrine glands are also known as exoendocrine glands because they perform as exocrine as well as endocrine in nature. The only gland in our body which acts as merocrine is the liver. Okay, I'll take up this topic in next video in which I'll be explaining the liver. So, I'll be telling you how it acts. Sorry, 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 excuse me. Uh, liver, uh, the neocrine gland in our body is pancreas. Again, do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do So, I'm going to go to the 